Hi guys, Mark Jensen here. This is what a bunny fly looks like when wet. But when this fly gets underwater, it comes alive. The bunny fly is the fly that swims and lure big fish anywhere. It's a super easy tie and even new fly ties can tie this fly with no problems. Let's get on with the tying. I attach the tying thread. I use a red thread here, but you can use any color. And then I prepare a rabbit strip. I like to taper the tip of the tail on these flies. I don't think it matters much. It's just a personal preference. I get rid of the, the loose fibers and measure out the length I want the tail to be. About three times the, the hook length is a good place to start. You can tie them shorter if you want. Maybe you're fishing from smaller trout and, and stuff and, and need a shorter fly. But for pike, I like them long. I make a few turns. A thread around the tie-in point here for the tail. and go under the strip and forward. After that, I wrap the strip around the hook shank. You can cover the shank with some kind of glue or lacquer before you do it, and you'll get a more durable fly. But in my experience, it isn't a, a must. These flies hold up very well, even to to the predators like pike. Then I tie her off. And try to cut the skin part of the material as close as I can to the thread, but uh, still try not to cut the thread. You will get a slightly larger head on these flies than you can on, on many other flies, because the skin is uh, kind of bulky at this point. But it's a big fly and I don't think it's a major problem. When I make a whip finish,
cut off the thread. And come in with a drop of lacquer. That's it. A hook, a thread, and a rabbit strip. And you got one of the world's hottest flies for big predators. Okay guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.